the Prince of Swords in the Thought Tarot depicts a figure riding a chariot. He's holding a sword upright with his gaze focused ahead. The chariot is adorned with winged disc symbols representing the element of air and it appears to be moving swiftly. This card symbolizes the qualities of intellect, communication and swift action. The Prince of Swords is associated with the air element signifying mental clarity, logic and decisiveness. The chariot represents the focused and driven nature of the prince who is determined and assertive in his pursuit. The upright sword symbolizes mental prowess and the ability to cut through confusion or obstacles with sharp intellect and clear communication. In the Thoth Tarot deck, the Prince of Swords corresponds to the astrological sign of Aquarius. Aquarius is an air sign known for its innovative thinking, intellectual curiosity and independence. The qualities of Aquarius, such as humanitarianism and unconventional thinking, are reflected in the Prince of Swords, who is often associated with original ideas, inventiveness and a desire for progress. Overall, the Prince of Swords in the Thoth Tarot embodies the qualities of mental agility, assertiveness and intellectual pursuit. It encourages clear thinking, decisive action and the ability to overcome challenges through intellect and communication. To quote Alistair Crowley, A person thus symbolized is purely intellectual He's full of ideas and designs which tumble over each other. He is a mass of fine ideals unrelated to practical effort. He has all the apparatus of thought in the highest degree, intensely clever, admirably rational, but unstable of purpose and in reality indifferent even to his own ideas, as knowing that any one of them is just as good as any other. He reduces everything to unreality by removing its substance and transmuting it to an ideal world of ratiocination, which is purely formal and out of relation to any facts, even those upon which it is based. This is one of the most difficult figures in the Book of Thoth on account of its ambivalence it means both flexibility and penetration. Immensely powerful because of its complete freedom from settled principles, capable of maintaining and putting forward any conceivable argument, insusceptible of regret or remorse, glib to quote scripture, aptly and cunningly to support any thesis soever, indifferent to the fate of a contrary argument advanced two minutes earlier, impossible to defeat because any position is as good as any other, ready to enter into combination with the nearest element available, these elusive and elastic people are of value only when firmly mastered by creative will fortified by an intelligence superior to their own. In practice, this is rarely possible. There is no purchase to be had upon them, not even by pandering to their appetites. These may nevertheless be stormy, even uncontrollable. Fadists, devotees of drink, drugs, humanitarianism, music or religion are often in this class. But when this is the case, there is still no stability. They wander from one cult uh, or one vice to another, always brilliantly supporting with the fanaticism of a fixed conviction what is actually no more than the whim of the moment. It is easy to be deceived by such people, for the manifestation itself has enormous potency. It is as if an imbecile offered one the dialogues of Plato. They may in this way acquire a great reputation both for depth and breadth of mind.
Crowley, The Book of Thoth. On a day ruled by the Prince of Swords, it will be our inner world we need to direct our attention towards. We need to study our thoughts and allow them the time to extend. Too often a thought uh, crosses our mind and we are unable to give that thought the room to grow and develop until it achieves its maximum potential. And because this happens very often, we fail to live up to ourselves too. So try to set time aside for quiet inner contemplation when the Prince of Swords is having an influence. Think about your own opinions on given topics, not necessarily personal ones, but more general issues as well. You know, often we fail to converse with ourselves, even to the extent that we converse with our acquaintances. We take for granted what we think and what we know, even though our opinions may not have been revised in years. As constantly growing individuals, our opinions certainly will change on some subjects. And if we don't give ourselves the time to check them out every now and again, we can become alienated from our own development. This can lead to all kinds of problems. See the 8, 9 and 10 of swords, for examples of this. So, free your mind and soul from all barriers. But be sure that you express your thoughts and plans so that others can understand them. Accept their opinions humbly. Your thoughts may be ahead of your age, but you can adjust them to the situation so that your vision works in the present without sacrificing anything. Affirmation I look within and grow to understand myself.